Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using option buttons on user forms to add data to Excel. So I have here an example of some participants and a couple variables. And I want to populate these variables with data. And I want to use option buttons to do that. So I have here a little blue rectangle that activates this form that I built. And for the variable year, there are four possible choices, freshman through senior. And in this case, for major, uh, counseling and behavioral science. So what this form does, we have it configured, is I can select, for example, junior and counseling. And I can click Enter, and it'll populate the correct cells automatically and advance to the next entry. So then I could move here and select sophomore and say behavioral science and it, not even click enter, just press the enter button on the keyboard as an alternative and have the same result. So I'm going to build this user form, uh, another user form just like this from the beginning to show you how I did it. So I'll start by closing this and clearing the data. I'm going to add another control here, an object, the rectangle we can use to trigger the new form that I'm going to build. And this one is blue by default, but I'm going to make this one uh, green. Alright, so we're going to move to the code view, which is Alt F11. And you can see here's all the code for the original user form, and here's the original user form. Here's what it looks like in code view. So I'm going to minimize this and go up here to the top where it says insert and add a new user form. I'm just going to keep the default name user form 1, but I'm going to change the caption and the properties on the left to main form 2 because I already have a main form. I'm going to change the font Times New Roman 12, the default font and the back color from the default gray. Let's change this to uh, like a dark blue. Alright, so now we have the uh, canvas we'll be working on, the user form, and we know that we're going to have two sets of option buttons. Uh, one for the year, you know, freshman, sophomore, and so on, and one for the major. So to do that, we're going to start by using a frame, which is this selection here. And we're going to need two frames, one for each set of option buttons. So in this first frame, you can see because I used a dark blue, you can't see the font. So you're going to change the four color to white. And I'm going to leave it, the name is frame one, but I'm going to change the caption for this to year. I'm going to expand this uh, user form a bit. I can now add the other frame. This will be the frame for major. I'm going to try to make it the same size approximately in terms of width. And again, uh, I'm going to change the four color to white. And instead of frame two, I'm going to change the caption to major. And then I'm going to add a command button here at the bottom. I'm going to leave this named command button 1, but change the caption to enter. So this is an important step I'm going to take right here. In, uh, under default, under the default property, it's false. So I'm going to change this to true. And what this will do is when the user clicks the enter or return key on the keyboard, it'll activate this control, which is just a time-saving technique. Rather than having to always move the cursor down here and click enter, they can just click enter on the keyboard, uh, well, either one, uh, to accomplish the, uh, the goal. So now I'm going to add the actual option buttons. And we know we'll need four 
for the year. And we'll need two for the major. So first I'll add the four up here for the year. And try to get them aligned as best I can. Looks like I'm going to need a little more room, so I'm just going to expand the form. Kind of move everything down just a little. to get that fourth option button in. So the naming of these option buttons is going to be fairly straightforward. I'm going to leave all the object names just as they are by default, but the captions I'm going to change so they match what we want the uh, how we want the cell to populate. So this will be First one will be freshman, then sophomore, then junior, and then senior for option button four. Okay, I'm expand this frame out a little, and I'm going to put two option buttons down here. This will be option button five and option button six. I would recommend normally changing the, the name of the object itself as well. It's more clear when working with the code. But certainly you want to uh, change the caption for certain. So this would be uh, counseling. and behavioral science. All right, so now we want to create a way for this form to be opened. So I'm going to go up to sheet one data, double click that, and you can see there's already an open form for the main form, but this one was the one I'm working on now, even though it's called main form 2 up here it's actually the the name is user form 1 so I'm going to create a new subroutine we'll call open form 2 and it will just be user form 1 dot show so going back to the worksheet I'm going to assign a macro to the green button I built, open form 2, click OK, and then click the green button. You can see the form comes up and it has all the components that we want. Of course, nothing works yet, but it's all set up on the actual user form. Moving back to the code view, so we don't need this code view available anymore. We're working with the code view behind the user form. So really with this particular design we don't have to add code behind any of these option buttons uh, at all. We're really putting code just behind the command button. So I'm going to double click this. It's really all the code will go here. So there are many different ways to achieve uh, the functions that I have in this user form. Uh, I'm going to show you one way that I think uh, is flexible so it, you can add on to it fairly easily, but there are several different methods. So we're going to start with an if-then-else statement. So if option button 1, then we're going to go value here equals true. So if it's clicked, then I'm going to tab here, the active cell value equals option button one dot caption.
So we're starting out here. So if option button one is clicked, then the active cell value, the cell you have highlighted in uh, on the worksheet, will equal the caption of the option button one, which of course we know is uh, freshman. That's the caption. So to save time, I'm going to copy just this part, and I'll show you why in a second. And I'm going to move here to the next line, and I'm going to use an else if, and then paste what I had here up here, but I'm going to change this to 2 and this to 2. So again, a copy and pasting is definitely expedient, but be careful. Make sure that you change everything you want to change when you use that method. So I'm going to move on to the next line, and I'm going to start with else if. Again, uh, paste, except this time I'm going to move from 2 to 3. So this, this would be the uh, junior. And then one more time. And I'm going to change this to 4, which is senior. Now, of course, I could use just an else here uh, because the only other option would be uh, senior if none of these three were clicked. If freshman, sophomore, and junior weren't, weren't selected, it would have to be senior. But again, I want to leave the code open for changes later on in case uh, another option button was added that uh, said none and there would be like no value that would appear or, or something like that. So I'm just going to make this an else if and then remember with all if then else statements you have to end them so it would be end if so there's uh, a lot of typing potentially has to be done here although the copy and paste really minimize that but otherwise this is fairly straightforward and you want to um, handle the major section which I'll do in a second but first I'm going to put the advance in so it advances to the next cell after uh, the command button is clicked or the enter key is, is uh, clicked. So it's active cell dot offset and we want to offset by one row. So it's one row, zero columns. And then of course the select method is used. So before we add in major, let's uh, test what we have so far and see if it's working. Moving to worksheet view. This is our active cell right here, B2. And this is our new user form. And I'm going to click sophomore and then just press the enter key. That works. I'm going to select junior and then click the command button that has the enter as the name. And of course that works but of course the major doesn't populate. Even if I were to select it, it wouldn't populate because there's no code behind it. So everything works so far. We just need to add major. I'll clear these values, move back to the code view. And for the major, it's going to be very similar. I'm going to start with an if-then-else statement. That's actually all I'll be using for this. And I'm going to paste what I had before, except now I'm going to have to make a few more changes. Of course, I'm going to have to change the option button uh, to 5. But you'll notice here it still says active cell. But that won't work because that active cell is where the year would go. But I want this to go one column to the right. So similar to what I did here with this offset, I'm going to use offset here as well except this time zero rows one column. So now it's going to look at the active cell and move one column to the right and put the caption value. So I'm going to copy and paste this because it already has the offset piece in it. And again uh, I could use else but I'm going to use else if to keep the code a little more flexible and I'm going to change this to 6 
And again, very important, and if has to be at the end of an if then else statement. So now this is all the code that you'll need for this to work. Let's move back over and test it. So again, back up in the first cell. This is our new form. Say we have a junior in behavioral science. Just click enter, that works. Uh, senior in counseling, click the enter button, that works. So as you can see, fairly efficient and fast way to enter data into uh, an Excel worksheet. Of course, I just have two frames and two sets of option buttons. You can have many more than that. You can make the user form larger, and it, so you would just offset by another column. So if you'd add another frame uh, below major or or somewhere else on the user form after you expanded it, instead of offset zero one, it would be offset zero two to get to what would be uh, column D here. So a flexible and efficient method for adding data uh, onto a worksheet. I hope you found this video on using option buttons to add data to Excel worksheets to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.